Got them both. It's light gun time. Yes, a free light gun build with all the games. Everything from PC light gun, all the consoles, PlayStation, Nintendo, and everything in between up to PlayStation 3, Techno Parrot, you name it. Uh, Retro Minis here with their front end has an a la carte light gun build. Uh, you can start with the base image and you can add on games, VR games, Time Crisis, all the House of the Deads. Um, and then everything in between, even obscure light gun games, all set up for the Sindin light gun, but it's also set up for the aim track light gun as well. And then other light guns, you can easily configure them as well. So this is what the front end looks like. I'm going to be playing a ton of light gun games. It's a lot of fun. Um, this one's pretty cool. And uh, it's on backup, so I'll show you how to do that. And you just download it, extract it. There's a couple things you got to do to set it up, and then you're rocking and rolling. So let's start the video off with what exactly comes on the base image, and then I'll show you how to add on to it and how cool that could be. Cool. So here you can actually use the Sindin light gun arrows to move around, or you can use your keyboard. And uh, here's the main menu here. You got the entire light gun collection, techno parrot based games, arcade based games like MAME and things like that. <laughs> Then you have a Thomas Wave Gun Games, Naomi Gun Games, Second Model 2, Second Model 3, Xbox Games, and back to the main direct. So let's check in Xbox. What do we have? We got Virtual Cop 3, Virtual, and Dark uh, Silhouette. Only two games. Now, uh, add-on packs. Massive amount of add-on packs for this. So, yeah, don't look, don't look too far. So, Star Wars Trilogy, one of my favorite games. This one as well, the Jurassic World. Super fun. The Lost World. Uh, never played this underground game. I'll check that out. There's one where you're in a helicopter and then back to dress. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars isn't just flying. It's also kind of a first-person shooter as well. It's, it's pretty cool. So, um, Second Model 2 is going to be your virtual cop, your House of the Dead. So, virtual cop 2, 1, House of the Dead, House of the Rail Chase 2. Oh, yeah. Rail. Um, you got Gunblade New York, Enemy Lines, and then back to virtual cop. Uh, Naomi, what do we got here? We got Death of the Pay, Shooter, The Maze of Kings, How to Get to Confidence of the Dead, and back. Thomas Wave. We've got Extreme Hunting, Extreme Hunting 2, Ranger Mission, Sports Shooting, Sega Clay Rally, and the back to Extreme. And if you notice, this front end is the um, this is uh, the retro minis, and I just did a pinball build on this. Uh, cool. and, uh, pretty cool. So there's seven games here. You got Grand Shooter, Haunted Museum, Martian House of the Dead Three, and then Wild Bath, and then, Bath and then uh, Fright Fairland, and then the last one. What is this? All right, and then Techno Parrot, probably one of most people's favorite. Alien Annihilation. What was this? Far Cry. Let's Go Jungle. Operation Ghost. Rambo. Sega Gun. Golden Gun. And then uh, Let's Go Island, a different one. And then what is this? House of the Dead 4. Uh, and then uh, House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn. So there's Q on your keyboard to quit. So here's the README. Uh, you're just going to go download all the files and then use 7-zip or WinRAR, extract it. Make sure it is in the root directory, so C drive and then just this folder. Don't make sure there's no extra fluff or don't rename the folder or anything like that because the paths might mess up. So just do that and then follow these directions that I'm about to tell you next. And then I also want to show you these add-on packs as well. And then let's play some games. You'll download it. You'll right click. You'll go ahead and go to WinRAR and then extract it. Make sure you're running this in the root of whatever hard drive you can put it in on. You can put it on any hard drive. Just make sure it's in the root directory, meaning there's no, you don't make multiple folders. And so once you click in, it should have this. This is the actual system here. Before you run it the first time, you want to go ahead and go and send in light gun, run the light gun program, make sure everything is configured there. Don't change the controls though, just make sure it's all configured. The other thing you're going to want to do is go down to demo shooter, go to the GUI, and then go to player one configuration, 
And then over here, it's going to be a bunch of humble jumbo, depending on how many devices you have hooked up to your computer. But if you notice, you can click on one of them and it'll tell you what it is. So I can see that that's my headphones. There you go. Send in light gun and um, just go ahead and save it. And so now it's now I have demo shooter knowing what my send in light gun is. Um, that's about it. We can go ahead and load it after that. Retro minis over here. You actually want to go to page two where they started this build. And it will be the retro minis send in gun base back in February. And then they have um, the pinball build, which I did a video on not too long ago. And then uh, they have PC games, PS2 games, arcade games, um, Namco games, more PC games, PS3 gun games. Oh, and it goes on and on. More PC games, more PlayStation games. And so you just want to click into each one of these and it'll tell you what games. For example, this one has Air Twister, Intake, and Time Crisis VR in it. Um, you know, so just look at the games you want. NES is going to have like, um, you know, Duck Hunt, things like that. You also got Wii attachments, arcade PC, even more Wii games. And so there's all these little add-ons if you want like the really co comprehensive uh, Sinden Gun pack. You know, this is pretty cool. And it's all a cart, so you can pick and choose. You're not downloading stuff that you don't necessarily want, which is extra cool. So I did download the PC Game Pack 6, 8, and 12. So what I'm going to do is just copy this information over. So yeah, you just copy that information over into the root directory, and then it automatically adds it to the build. Um, there's no configurations, nothing else you need to do. But like I said, it's all kind of set up for you, all a cart. You can choose, you can go from the base image and then add on from there. You can, you can end up with hundreds of games or just have like 50 to 60 like games. Um, so my final thoughts on this build. Um, overall, I think it's great. I think it's really great that it's a la carte. Um, it works. Um, it's a little flashy, <laughs> but I think people like that, especially with light guns. Um, so a la carte, like it. Smaller download, like it. Sin and light gun, I like it. Um, Pre-configured, that's a huge thing. I think the sin and light gun can be intimidating for some people. Um, and having it all set up for yourself is, is, is definitely helpful. And then uh, having all these games at your fingertips is cool. Um, most of the games work just fine. A couple of the, you know, he set it up so like you could do everything on the Sin and Light Gun, like with the, the D-pad on the Sin and Light Gun and the buttons. Some games I kind of, I, I prefer my coin and my start button to be on the keyboard. So I just went in and I changed the controls. Um, but whatever the case is, this is a good starting point for a lot of people. And uh, I like how, like I said, how how it's a la carte. You can kind of build it as you want. So prior to this, I used to tell people, you know, there's some really good coin ops builds out there. And there still is. Those ones are great. Um, a lot of them are unofficial. Um, retro minis, different group of people working on those. And, you know, it seems like it's fairly consistent there. And they all seem to be working fairly well. So... That being said, this might be something to try out and download, and because they're individual, they don't take up a lot of time to download, and you can just add on as you go. Um, if you do need to mess with anything or controls aren't working, you know you can go into the individual emulator settings, but there are some global controls at hand, so you might not want to mess with too much. The cool thing about this is you can easily just delete it and then reinstall everything really easily if you do break it. So, you know, that's good for newbies, especially if you're new to this build. So, a lot of fun. If you're into light guns, it can be great. It works on any computer, and then you can hook your computer up to a big screen TV, whatever you want to do. you got a lot of options here, but um, a lot of fun. Uh, here's the PC uh, add-on pack. You know, I added the uh, Blue Estate, one of my favorite light gun games. Um, in this game, you want to make sure you switch to a raw mouse in the option menu. But other than that, it should get working. So... Anyways, that's what I think. Let me all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.
But um, for all those reasons, um, I'm I'm a big fan of the build, and um, you know I like it. So that's what I think. Let me all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But um, everything worked. Techno Parrot tested it. Um, uh, PlayStation tested it. Naomi, a Thomas Wave, uh, PC games. Uh, I did not do Nintendo Wii. I didn't do PS3 add-on packs. You know, I, I would imagine those work just fine. So um, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.